Hi, my name is Beth. Thank you so much for joining me here in the bubble. Um, I am a programming assistant for the St. Johns County Public Library System, and we are here today to learn how to draw a sunflower in using oil pastels. Um, local artist Kasha Fay is going to teach us that, and we are so grateful to the Barbara Kay Foundation because um, they gave the St. John's County Public Library System a grant, which is enabling us to provide these classes and buy materials, and we're so grateful for that. Um, so let's go ahead and meet Kasha. Hi everyone, my name is Kasha Fay. I'm a Flagler grad in fine art and graphic design, and I'm gonna be teaching our um, Sunflower Pastel class today. Thanks so much for joining. I'm super excited, and let's get started. <laughs> to make your sunflower oil pastels, you are going to need a piece of black paper and a set of oil pastels. Um, the um, black paper that we are using is kind of a thicker art paper, that, mm -hmm. um, but you could use whatever quality of black paper that you would like. Um, and the oil pastels are fairly inexpensive. You can get at any art store or online like Amazon, or you could get them um, from places like Walmart even. These are our two pieces of tracing that we're gonna be using for our sunflower pastels. These will be able to be downloaded through a PDF on the website. These will be able to help you. Of course, if you wanna try drawing on your own, that's not a problem. You can stop and start the video anytime that you need to while making. So to get started with doing our um, sunflower pastel, what we're gonna be doing is I have a um, circle or a little bit off, uh, an off circle that we're gonna be placing and we're gonna have our black paper, actually I call it like hot dog style versus hamburger, um, so portrait. Um, and we're gonna be placing the circle near the top half of the paper. And what I'm gonna be using is our white. Now you can see that this isn't clean. It's always good if you're using um, previously done to have them wipe off with a paper towel um, to make sure that it's nice and clean when you're creating so it doesn't end up on the paper. But I'm gonna be using white so you guys can see what I'm gonna be making. You can use a different color if you would prefer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace around my circle. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Remember, art is never um, gonna look the same as someone else's next to you. And that's totally okay. That's what makes it original and fun. But so now we have our traced circle. And then what we're gonna do next is you can see in our piece that we're gonna start creating our petals. So that's kind of, I wanna give us our base of where we're gonna be starting. So I'm gonna start at the top half of my paper and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it where it's the top half of my circle and I'm gonna basically do like a curve, like a wave. So I'm gonna start where I'm connecting to my sunflower center and I do a wave, and then I'm actually gonna reflect and just repeat that onto the other side. And I'm gonna go around my entire sunflower and create that. So I'm gonna do a wave, wave and then connect, and then I'm gonna do my last one. So you can see, even when looking at this, my sizing for these is different than my sizing for this, and I'm the, I'm the same creator, so that's perfectly okay. There's not anything that you need to be concerned about with that. Our next step, what we're gonna be doing, is creating and having how, uh, how flowers have multiple petals. We're gonna be going in between the first ones that we did, and kind of doing that same wave pattern. So at this, I'm gonna start at the, the bottom of my paper, not at the top, and I'm gonna go in between these petals, and do another wave, but it kind of comes in. And I'm gonna do that between each one. So you can see where you have two, where you have two. I'm gonna do it all the way around. And again, I'm gonna twist. And it's totally okay if it comes up to the top of your paper. So now we have the base of our flower. Now the next part that we're gonna work on is identifying and creating our center and then we'll go around and work on the surrounding petals. But what I wanna do first is we're gonna go from um, dark to light. So we're gonna start 
at the bottom of the center of our sunflower, and I'm gonna be using our red, and I'm basically gonna trace and kind of do in like a C shape. And I'm pressing down hard because I want the color to show up. And you can always go back, and I'm trying not to let any paper come and show through. But I'm kind of making a C, and I'm not completely filling my circle. You can see I'm kind of, I call it kind of creating like a crescent moon. But I'm going in, and I'm pressing, and I'm doing it in like a long, one sweet motion. And I'm creating my red. The next that we're gonna do is utilize our orange. Now, forgive me, mine are a little cracked. You guys should be receiving whole ones. But again, if they crack, that's not a problem. It just means that you're putting good pressure down. And I'm gonna go right above where I have my um, red. And it's totally okay if you're going into it. But I'm gonna then be filling in to have that be my orange. And I'm pressing down to kind of create that. Now again, you could be working on this and don't want to use these colors. You can use and create anything that was provided for you or what you can find. People can do this in like pinks and purples, but this is just what we're creating for today. So now I have my my orange and you can kind of see where it's going into the red how you're creating like some nice lighter colors so that's showing you blending where you're having a color get placed on top so that's really nice here for the, the um, flowers because it's creating different hues and shades one of our last couple of steps for our flower is now we're going to be going over with yellow so again I'm cleaning off and I'm going to be going over the top I'm going to be kind of creating into the center. I'm dipping into my orange, but I'm filling in that last little bit. Ooh, I broke my, broke my pastel, that last little bit. And I'm okay if it's going into the orange. Now, for some of these, if you want to create, and I'll blow off or I'll dip it if I see that the pastel is collecting on the top. For some of these where if you want to have it even be lighter on top of the yellow, you can either use your flesh tone or your white. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of my flesh tone. So I'm going to go over just a little on the top part. And you can see how that creates a little bit of a different color. Now in our flowers, we do have a, a circle that's within the center. And this is um, hand done. So what we're gonna be actually using is it's our, um, it's kind of our brown. It's a lighter brown, it's not a dark brown. And what I'm gonna do is where I have this more yellow-like center, that's circular, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna freehand doing a circle. And I just kind of went in a circular motion and then I filled it. So now you can see we have more of a, um, a base for the, center of our, for the center of our flower. Now, um, we're going to be working on our petals next. So what we're gonna actually utilize is again that brown and what I'm going to do is on the left side of each of my first petals go around it and again it's not anything if you feel like oh I missed a spot or if it's not on the right step uh, flowers have so many different petals there's nothing that's going to go wrong but I'm just going to show you I'm going to start on the left I'm going to trace around my where my white is and I'm just going to go back and forth really quick to create, but I'm not filling in the entire petal. And so I'm doing that on the left side. And I'm pressing down hard so I can really see the color come through. And on the left. So 
you can see it goes all the way around. Then I'm going to create a lighter value by going with my yellow and filling in that right side. So we're creating some highlights, some contrast. So I'll start at the top again, go around, and then I'm okay if it goes into my brown. So I trace around, and then I'm okay if it goes into my brown. I think what's really nice about using the pastels on the black paper is you can really get to see it um, come through and shine. And then having the black as a contrast for the background, it really helps make your flower pop. Like this isn't even done. And I feel like you can really see the colors coming through already. Now, in addition to that, I like to try to pick up some of the um, values that we're gonna see coming in through our leaves, even though we haven't added those yet. So what we're gonna use is our light blue. And in between where the brown and the yellow meet, we're gonna go very quickly and go back and forth, kind of like a squiggle. And so you can see that coming through where it meets. And it's kind of bringing in some of those colors that we're gonna incorporate with our leaves and our stem later. So I'm just doing that all the way. Great, a little bit of orange in between where that blue and the yellow meat, you don't have to do this, you can. But so I'll just go in. So I think that's what's really nice about colors is you can really layer here to bring in tones that are coming in from the center. And you can do this once and think, you know what, I wanna do a different color the next time. So you can make this piece over and over again and get different results. I think you can see that in my examples too, where it's different pieces coming through. So for the next step we're gonna do is actually now fill in orange for our petals that are on the outside. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna fill the whole thing with orange and we can go back over the top of it with yellow. So I'm just, you can trace it and fill in. or you can just start and press hard. And it's kind of nice because now that we have, if you use your white, it'll kind of create some highlights, some lighter areas from where that's coming down and getting pressed. Okay. Now, I know I said I was gonna use my yellow, but I actually think I wanna use my flesh tone so you can choose between either. Again, there's no right or wrong way. And I'm going to start at the top and do it on the right side to just make things, the petals look a little lighter. And I'm just doing it on the right side on those outside second level petals. Now, if you would prefer to do this in yellow, that's totally okay. Perfect. But now we kind of have this base of where we've created colors, both on the outside and on the inside. So our next step that we're gonna do is actually um, utilize our black and bring that in to create the center of what we want. So what I'm gonna do is take this black and make sure that it's clean. And I'm gonna trace around my outer circle and I am pressing down hard. I'm okay if it goes into my petals. So now I've have I've have my basic. And then I'm going to go in and trace that circle that we created earlier. I'm pressing down hard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that shape that we were doing earlier to make with our red. And I'm going to take my black and again, you don't have to do this, but I'm pressing lightly and I'm making lines 
and creating shape for the center of my flower. And then I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the inside of that brown. The next step that I'm gonna do with my black is actually go in and create our circles. So what I do is I just take the tip and I press down and circle and I'm gonna be placing that all throughout. So over my lines that I made, but I'm doing it all over And I can do them big, you can do them small. There's no right or wrong way. Is I'm gonna take my white and do the same thing. I'm gonna create white and circling. And I'm trying to place these in between my black dots. And then when I see that my paper is beginning to like roll or connect, I peel it off, I clean off my piece. Ooh. So now you kind of have your center. Now some people, like, or, or I did, like wanting to put it in the center, you can. I'm not gonna do that for this piece so you can see some differences, but that is not an issue either if you do it with those. And then the next part I wanna do is I want my petals to become more defined. So I know how we did it at the beginning where we were tracing it out. I'm gonna go back over with the white. My inside and then I'm going to do it for my outside so they all become a little bit more visible. So I did my first round and then I'm going back over. For my second. So now you really have your flower top, the center with the petals. And so we're gonna be working on creating our um, stalk next. It's actually our light green. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out from the bottom and I'm gonna slope it um, to the left of the paper. Now, if you want yours to go in a different direction, that's totally fine. But I'm basically taking my left green and I'm sloping it and I'm having it go all the way to the end of the paper. Then what I'm doing, because we're doing this basically in a layered line, is I'm gonna take my dark green and put that right underneath the light. And then I'm gonna incorporate a little bit of my brown. So again, we're pulling in elements from our, um, from our flower. and have that come down. Now, I really like how the dark blue appears against the, the green. So in between that light green and dark green, I'm gonna come in and bring a little bit of this blue and you can see it kind of saturates that color and I think it looks really nice. Now, I have a tracing of a leaf here. What you can do is you can flip this to the left or right so what I would like to do is actually have a little bit of um, my leaf come out from my flower base. So I'm gonna actually go over around this with white so everyone can see, but you can choose to do this with the light or dark green if you would prefer to have it match more of a, the color of your, um, of your base, of your stem. But I'm just going to trace around it and it does not have to be like super, super exact. It's okay if it's a little bit loose. Like you can see that I'm kind of bringing out my stem, my end stem a little bit longer. But so now I have basically the start of my flower, of my flower leaf coming out. So this was, you have it, I flipped it, placed. Now for the right side, I'm gonna leave it like this, but I'm actually going to point it down 
and have it be a little bit away from the stem because I'm gonna connect it. But I'm going to trace So I have that. And then I'm gonna do it with my white just so you guys can see that I'm connecting it to the stem. And then I'm gonna divide in the center of my leaf. So you have basically two halves. And I'm gonna fill in the right side. Of my leaf with the light green. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my left leaf. Divide it in the center. And I'm going to fill the left side in with light green. Then what I'm gonna do is actually take my dark green and fill in the left side of my right leaf and then fill in the right side of my left leaf. So we wanna bring in some of these values that we're seeing here in our flower petal leaf. So what I'm gonna do is actually take my light blue and where the dark green and the light green meet, I'm gonna press so you can really see it. And I'm gonna do this on both sides of my leaves. And you can really kind of see now how that's tying in with our leaf. And then what I'm gonna do is actually beneath that, take our um, dark blue and go where into the dark green and the light blue meet. Do the same. So you're bringing in some of that color from here. And then my last little step for the colors of it is I'm gonna actually go over on my left leaf, right along the bottom with the brown and then on my right leaf, right along the left side with the brown. And then I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna go back over, creating that divide in the center and just going over a little bit on the right side where we have our light green and our blue. your oil pastel flower and you've got nice light tones you have your petal laid out the only thing that you could do is if you want to in the bottom right hand corner you could sign it with the year that's so beautiful thank you so much Kasha this came out so beautiful um, I just want to um, thank the Barbara K Foundation once again for sponsoring these programs and also just mentioned that we still have one more um, oil pastels class that will be premiering next month. We're going to be doing an oil pastels lighthouse. Mm -hmm. um, and then Kasha has also filmed um, earlier for September, we did a seahorse. And for October, we did a um, butterfly. Mm -hmm. So you can watch those at any time on our Facebook and YouTube channel. And we're so glad that you were able to come. Thank Thanks you again. Thanks so much. All right, bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. We'd love to see your, your oil pastel drawing of a sunflower. Tag us on social media with your picture at SJCPLS on Facebook or hashtag I love SJCPLS on Instagram. Thanks again. We'll see you soon at the library.